What kind of dancing? Um, jazz. Jazz? Apparently you used to perform in front of 1,500 people. Yeah. Well, that was being nerve-wracking. <laughs> but now we're going to make you even more nervous because you are going to perform in front of millions, millions of people <laughs> watching the bungalow. All right, so you ready to dance? Show us some yeah. of It's Faye! Dance! Bungalow points for that. Yeah. Well done, Faye. Well Come down. Let's the... see who your friends are. Your yeah. friends? Your next friend is? You bouncy. Good yeah. yeah. morning. Good morning, Joe. Come out here, mate. How are you? Fine. You excited to be here? Eh, uh, a bit, yeah. A bit. A bit. <laughs> Great. More, 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 more. Thanks ah. a lot. Here, Joe, show us what that bit is. How excited that bit is. Eh, um, very. Very. A very bit. A very bit. What you got here for us? Take your bag. Look, what is it? This is you. I'm done. Ah, a picture of who? It's a picture of me. Uh, Joe, can I just ask a question? What? What's happened to me shoes, mate? <laughs> they changed. Curly whirly doodles, aren't Ooh. they? Yes. And what are you saying there? I've, got, I've a big... got a big surprise. And what is my big surprise? Creamy mug mug. He's going to throw it in Dick's face. I think, I think it's those teeth, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. And the blue hair. Oh, 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 we're it. ripping it to shreds. No, I like it. We're going to put it up in the bungalow. Let's yeah. put it here. Right in the picture frame. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There it is. Oh. Wow. 100 bungalow points for that, Joe. Come on. Oh, come on. A bit too hot. Oh, yeah, that's all right. Oh, you want 100. All right, then. Joe, hey, hold on. Where are you hold going? On. No, go on. Do it. What were you doing? Show us. He's off. He's off. He's getting ready for the bungalow. He's getting ready for the game. He's starting his tactics. Ooh. He's getting ready for a whole weekend of fun in the bungalow. He's already off. He's out. Oh, yeah. Come yes. on, on, Joe. Welcome <laughs> to the bungalow. And the third bungalow head is... <laughs> Megan, how Marvelous are you? Magical Megan, you hey, are you so welcome. Spoiling in here with that coat. Take your coat off. Oh, not very nice, is it? How are you, Megan? How old are you? Nine. And how do you know all this lot? Um, because they're in the same class as me. They're in the same class as you. Lovely. Well, lovely. Now, Megan, whereabouts? Just for the record, whereabouts are you from? Liverpool. Liverpool. I thought so. All right, now, Megan, it says here you're nine years old, and also uh, you like fizzy pop. Whenever you have a fizzy pop, yeah, get a fizzy pop personality because fizzy makes you go a bit fuzzy. Yeah. Is that right? Can, yeah. you, show, can you show us your fizzy pop personality? Go well, go a bit fizzy and fuzzy. Oh Nick. no, here she goes. She's drinking it. Oh no, she's she's necked the fizzy pop. <laughs> TJ! Well, let's just take your... What are you doing? Why are you dressed like that, TJ? Because Aintree. Did you come from what? Aintree. Aintree, where the famous race course is. Right, yeah, it now. all makes sense. It's not just a Brandon Jockey outfit. Frankie de Tory, where are you from? Aintree, Liverpool. Liverpool. Are you from Liverpool, though? Yeah, right. Now, it says here, there is nothing that TJ won't do. No, he even eats bugs. So we're going to put you to the test. 
We don't we, recommend. We, no, don't we don't recommend, recommend it. Or condone it whatsoever, by yeah. the way. But, but something we do recommend is using a worm as a moustache. <gasps> So, what we're going to do, we're going to get TJ to use... Would, would you do it? One of these worms has a moustache. Will you do that? Will you stick it on your top lip? Come on over here. Get then. a worm. I'll get a worm. Here's... That's a worm! That's a worm! Oh, it's a worm, it's alive. Yeah. Use you're going to do that with your lip, do that. Do that. So, oh, it's, it's wiggling. Ah! ah! Come on! You're going to do it for 15 seconds, you'll win 150 bungalow points. Uh, Lean your head back uh, a bit more. Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> This is not I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Just put it on your lip and leave it there. Ah! 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 The worm loves it. The worm's OK. Look, he's absolutely fine. He's enjoying the bungalow. The worm is loving it. You're going to stay in the... 100 bungalow points for the worm. Don't hit. 100, 150 to you, TJ. Welcome. Nice Thank you very much. Seat. Well done, well done. Here, TJ, you can wipe, you can wipe the mug off the top of your lip. Now, give me some fizzy pop to wipe it off. Here, look, look here. Who's next? Welcome. How are we? Hi, everybody. Do you have a good journey from Liverpool? Yeah. Lovely. Oh. You've got you've got a special bag, look. Oh, look at it. They're all the same, aren't they? And uh, and Emma, I can see is your name because it says there on your badge. What is this? Scouse. Oh, what? Scouse. Scouse. Oh, it's a, it's, a, it's a delicacy in Liverpool. I know about this. Uh, it's what, what's it made of? What's it made of? Um, this is scouse. Carrots. Leftovers. Yeah. Leftovers. No. So is this like the dog's dinner, basically? No. No, no it's, it's a fresh. delicacy. <laughs> oh, is it? It's a mixture between stew and soup. It's fresh. And, and did you know that blind scouse is scouse without meat? Oh! Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> yes, that's the dog, and that's dog's dinner. Uh, I think it's got worm in it. Uh, lovely, thank you, Emma. And, um, Emma, welcome to the bungalow. You, you need to wash off your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Emma! You laugh like a machine gun. You got a machine gun there. How can we make Emma laugh? What makes a laugh? All right. Well, why don't we do? Uh, why don't we do the walk? Why don't we do the the energy walk? The energy walk. Ready? Listen to that machine gun behind us. It's just like a machine. Do laugh? It's just like one. Tommy Tom Tom Thomas. Hello, How are you, Tom? Hey, take off your coat. You're welcome to my house. How are you? You're so to be here. Yeah. Hey, you're going you're to spend the whole weekend here. Yeah, you're going to spend the whole weekend here. Not only today, but tomorrow on the CBBC channel, 9 yeah. to 11, you'll be here mm -hmm. entertaining everyone live. Live. Should we let him speak? Wait. Come here for a sec. Oh, come here. What? What? <laughs> yeah. can, you, can you just. We kind of missed that. Can you do it again? Yeah. Right, go on. It kind of really made it. It did. It, it was a squash, show, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, hey! Wow. That's got to hurt. Here, come here a second. I think. Thank you. I think, ladies and gentlemen, that this has been eating too much scouse. Lovely, Thomas. And uh, Thomas, you love motorbikes. Well, to make you happy, we always make people's dreams come true in the bungalow. Yeah. If you come in the bungalow, we make your dreams come true. Yeah. Like Jim <laughs> and Here, you know. There. Yeah. And we've got a motorbike helmet for you. And we've got a leather jacket. Got leathers. Leathers. Or oh, I'm going to pick. Oh, it's so heavy. And ah! We don't have a real motorbike, no, because that would be that would be dangerous. We've got a cardboard one. Hey, <laughs> pretty good though. <laughs> Go on, get on your motorbike. Get on. Get on. What? Why don't you just stay there, ready, and go! Oh, yeah! Come on, that's right! That's right, ride it around a bit! No! You, you, you've, got, you've got a unicycle! You've got, ride the unicycle! Come on, that's right! Oh, look at him go! Brilliant, thank you very much! Three, two, one! Fun girl! It's the Bungalow Head! Now, head! I think we know where you're from now, but who do you support? Everton or Liverpool? Well, you Liverpool fans, oh, you're here to earn Bungalow. Why is Bungalow more? It's been prizes. You could be going away tomorrow, live on the CBBC channel, with these prizes. Wow. Third prize is a porridge computer. It is. And you even get the mouse sticking out of it as well. Who wants a porridge computer? <laughs> wow. Although, <laughs> fair, you don't want it. Yeah, I do. You do? It's what? It's fascinating. It's fascinating. And so, too, is our second prize. Have a look at second prize. Here you go. Oh, it's actually a GameCube. <laughs> With it was well, computer console, yes. With a game as well. Who was that? Hold on, stop. Stop proceedings for a minute. Faye's got a question. What? You put your hand up. What's your question? 
Oh, no, no she said she wanted the prize. Oh, you want the prize? Andrew, she yeah. said you didn't have the question. Well, come ah. on, go and put your hand up as far as you can. Come on, Mary, put your hand up as far as you can and tell us that you want this prize. Come on. I want this prize, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a brand new bike and CD Walkman. Do you want that? Want Who that? wants that? A bike! A bike! What, Joe? You want the Porsche computer but not the bike? No. You'd rather have the Porsche computer? Well, you better come third then. Fair enough, it's good tactics. Now then, Bungalows, if you're the winner of Saturday's bungalow, are you listening, Faye? Good, yeah. yeah. If you're the winner of Saturday's oh. bungalow, you'll get a bonus prize, which is a PS2. It's a games console. It's a PS2. With games. I've got one. Oh, you've all got one, have you? Yeah. Well, you can, you can have another one and sell it down the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make money. All right, well, listen, here, have a look at this. Look, you know what to do by now, don't you? We're going to oh, show yeah. everyone what they can do. Fill in the blanks, write anything you want. But remember, oh, oh, don't be Rudy. 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 Oh, no, we Frank will do that later. This is our next door neighbour. Welcome in. Oh, yeah. oh, well, hello. Oh, Frank. Hold on a minute. Frank, it is. Who's this you brought with you today? It's my younger brother, Frank. <laughs> Frank, hey, get off hey, me. Hold on, boys. Hey. Hold on. Leave it. Leave calm it. Down, calm, calm down. Calm down. Let go. I told calm you. Aye, aye. They're, they're having a, a horn off. <laughs> Oi, don't trade on your flippers. He started it. No, no he I didn't. Yes, yeah. you did. Sorry, Leave it. Uh, oh, no, oh, number one, 900 for 500. That's motion, Dark Heaven. Do you want to play Todd's wallet? Let's see what they got. Oh, oh, hey. Slap themselves around the face. What, what have you, have you got? That? Is that? It's a piece of rope. Says, look, the piece of rope. A piece of rope. Piece of rope. Piece of you, rope. Look. Have you been picking, picking that up off him? I've been That's picking, not a piece of he's rope. He's been picking his nose. It's oh, it, It's a fish that flips a torch. Maybe you want to win that. And that's the number you have to start to get that. That's the piece of rope. Do not laugh or you will lose. Can you make one of us laugh? You get this. Flip flop. Flip flop. Drop flip flop. Look, you can put seat easy in this flip flop. Hey, hang on, listen. Oi, why don't you come over here? Faye, come over here. Hey, look, can you just, in your best scout's voice, say, calm down, calm down? Come on. Oh, and there you go, don't easy. mess with her. And now, in your best scouts voice, will you tell them to Shabble. sling their hook? Sling your hook. Go on, sling your hook. Sling your hook. Sling your hook. Sling your hook. Come on, Frank. Come on. All right. Sling it out. Come on. Thank you, Faye. Let's, let's, well, maybe you can join us with the energy dance. No, no, we'll do it on our own. We'll do it in a bit. But we've got the emails. Bungalow. Ha, BBC. In a bit. <laughs> Bungalow and bbc.co.uk if you'd like to win that. It's no. the new DVD of Nineteen Fimo. Nineteen Fimo. And a handbag. Bungalow at bbc.co.uk5. Let's do the energy walk backwards. What? Hold on, you have to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's have a look at the middle. We've been filling them in. Bungalow has been filling them in. As you can see, that they What would you do if I pumped out a tube? Very right. good. Watch my bum bum. Oh! Well, everyone certainly was then. Sing a song of wee wee, a pocket full of poo poo. Oh, charming. Inspector Mutton Chops can't live without tramps. We'll ask him about that later. Who wants to watch a dummy? It's quite interesting watching a dummy. It doesn't really do much, but there you are. Well, well, 18 bungalow points there. And I tell you, talking of dummies, these two dummies have got all this for you today. We have a Yeah, we have. Yes. Nice bit of Maddest Town for you in a bit with Inspector Mutter Chops. OK, we've also got uh, Watch My Chops. It's a wonderful cartoon for you. Uh, also, do not laugh or you will lose which one of the bungalow heads will crack up first. Who knows? We are back in Europe for bogeys this morning. Bogeys! Bogeys in Spain! Oh, indeed. And uh, also, we have got the grand finale at the end of the show. It's Creamy Mug Mug. Don't go anywhere! Please. Yes, you can, can ask a question. question. Can you explain this for me? Well, of course I can. This is Very Hairy Fairies. Huh? Very Hairy Fairies at the name of the game. The bottom of the garden will never be the same. So I can jump and spread and hair until the music stops. Then stuff some goofy teeth in that twinkly little chops. <laughs> okay, go on then, bungalow head. Stand next to a fairy. Go on, uh, locate a fairy and go and stand right next to their side. All right. Very Hairy Fairies. You've got one minute on the clock to. Oh, actually, 45, I'm going to make it tougher for you. Just hairy up your fairy. They're very simple. All you have to do is to get a bit of Dirty Norris, smear it all over their faces and all over their baldy slap heads. Then you have to get some of this hair, stick it to them as well, stick on their, their, their tiara and give them a wand. And also, don't forget, give them their world-famous goofy teeth. But, Mr Dominic Wood, I have another question. Yes? Where has this hair come from? It's got bits in it, look. Well... Who's donated it? I'm going to ask you the same question. Who donated it? I'll tell you. Who? Trevor McDonald. You little... <laughs> He's now a 
I'm already sleeping. Oh, there you go. What things? Anyway, right. 45 seconds on the clock. Don't forget to get those teeth in. Three, two, one. Go! Go on. Get the fairies. Go on, bend down. That's right. Get it all over their heads and all over their faces. Oh, look at the hat. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? Would you believe it? You've got 20, 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. You've only got 20 seconds left. For 12. Get them hairy. Get their teeth in. Put on the tiara. I'm going to write to Terry Wogan about this. Look what they're doing. It's a disgrace. Antisocial behaviour. Stop! Zorro. All right, then. Stop. You've hairied up your fairies. Let's have a look. Megan, did you enjoy that? Yeah. Right, let's ask uh, your thing here, what it does. Fairy! <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, you're too weird. Let's leave that. Let's stop that now. Uh, Thomas, turn round. How do you think you got on, Tom? Um. OK. Well, let's ask the fairy. Ida down. Ida down. Ida down. Same to you. Uh, TJ. Yeah, it's <laughs> just rather dirty. I like your style. Fairy? <laughs> Live and St. Anne's. <laughs> Live and St. Anne's. All right, then, moving well. over here. Well done, Jojo. Turn around, show everyone your dirty hands. And uh, you did quite a good job, didn't you? But what do we think? Fairy? Rhododendron bush. <laughs> Rhododendron bush. Huh? Right, moving on over here. Well done, Emma. You have got... Fondant fancy. Do you want one? We've got plenty of them over yeah, here. Yeah, if, if you want. Here, yeah, I can have an old plateful. They didn't want them. Here, yeah, look. Ooh, have one of them. There you go. How to make a fairy happy. Give them a photo of Fondant fancy. And lastly, but not leastly, hey, uh, Faye. Faye and Faye's fairy. <laughs> Fridge freezer. Who? Fridge freezer. Fridge freezer. <laughs> Fair enough. Fairy. Fair enough. Well, let's have a look, see who's won. Mm. I, well, it's the weirdo, mate. Oh, yeah, I it's got to be the weirdo. weirdo. That means <laughs> that Megan is the winner. How many bungalow points did you say? Well, we didn't say, so oh. let, let's say, uh, well, Megan, name how many bungalow points you want. 20. How many? 100. 100 bungalow points. That's what you got. <laughs> thank you, uh, yes, uh, thank you. Yes. Right, uh, fairies, you may be excused now. Go and you may fly away. <laughs> e e go on, yeah. out. Yeah, straight on, fella. Go on, out. Thank you. Come on, then. And now, bungalow heads, uh, you can wash your hands if you want in the sink over there, and we'll get, go and get a video put on for you. But it's not any old video. Right. Go and make us a cup of tea as well. Bungalow heads. Okay. They're not in any old video. I'm a head to turn swing on. You don't know how to make a cup of tea. Tea bag, water, milk, yeah. sugar. Easy. Easy. Make us a blue. We took we took a cloth over. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that'll be alright. See you in a bit, bungalow heads. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, a, vi a videotape uh, which has got everything that you want in one videotape. Uh, if you want to watch Scooby Doo, yeah. you want to watch Scooby Doo? I want mine. All right, then well, I watch BBC One because yeah. that's what will happen. Right. I want to watch Taz of Tasmania. Oh, it's I on the same video that Well, okay, well, all you have to do is flick onto the CBBC channel and that will play Taz of Tasmania. Stick it on. Hey, you all right there, Scousers? Yeah. Brilliant. Whatever you do, stay bungalow. I, I, and this will last 10 minutes. What? What? Shut up! Let's fight over it! Go! Get up! <laughs> Well, I enjoyed Tan. And I enjoyed Scooby Doo on the CBBC One. And next, you can enjoy Watch My Chop. It's Dick Dom on a Saturday morning with the Liverpool and Bungalow Heads. Hey! What are you asking that question? Oh, yeah, who do you support? Everton or Liverpool? Liverpool! That's Liverpool. where they're from. Here, Tom, come over here. Joe, no, Joe, come over here. Joe, Joe, Joe. Why Tom, don't you no, read Joe, an email? Joe, Joe. They've been emailing in their thousands. Thank you, Bungalow viewers, you little people. Read that out. It doesn't say where it's from, actually. Put your names on your email so we can say your name on the TV. Dear Dick and Dom, my mum thinks you must have the same hairdresser because you, because both of you have really bad haircuts. <laughs> She's right, actually, whoever she is. Love my what? Hair what did you say? Mm, nothing. You nothing. said she's right, actually, whoever she is. Oh, hey. Sit down. <laughs> well done. Whoever you are, I don't know how we're going to find your name, but we'll maybe find it somewhere. You've won that. Here's a good one. I like this one. Uh, from Steph from Ow. Prescott. Um, Hi, Dick and Dom. My best mate, Danielle Sweeney, loves Dick. And her little sister, Chloe Sweeney, loves Dom. So I've written a poem for you. Dom, you are so fine. Dick, you don't half why. Dom, I love the way you dance. Dick, you don't half prance. 
I'll have it. You eat that. Uh, I'll have a word about it with you about this. Uh, I can't think of anything else to say, but tell Dick he needs to get those bags under his eyes dealt with. <laughs> Are we sending her that or what? Brilliant. I think they're looking quite nice today. I thought they were looking quite fresh. <laughs> they're not looking over. Well. stopped. Right then. Right. <laughs> these, these, are, these are gone. These Let's are gone. Let's play Codswallop. Come on. How many times will a member of the public slap themselves in the face with a fish? You have to decide the two people on the phone. Bungalow heads, you can choose one of the teams. You could get 20 bungalow points for playing this game. Let's have a look at the slapper. Yes. Who is it? Uh, Colin. How old is he? He's a weird looking man, isn't he? Uh, 54. Where's he from? Ealing. What's his naughtiest thing he's ever done? This being his parents are playing out the street. What's his most embarrassing thing? Getting your feet in the gills in the middle of the school, he didn't play. And what's his otom? To be rather than see eh? Hey? To be rather than to seem. To be, to be, to be or not to be, that's special. Explain it. No. To be rather than. We'll get the corners to explain it. Mark Stapleford from Eton, are you there? No. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Mark Stapleford, how are you? All right. Is that your name? How's life in Eton? Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> How's life in Eton? Uh, all right. Good. Is it? Is it? Is it bravo? Is it bravo and jolly and nice and lovely? Yes. Spiffing. Yes. Lovely. Uh, right, Mark. <laughs> how many times is a slapper gonna slap himself? Forty-five. Forty-five. Thank you, Mark Stapleford from Eton. Stay there. What? It? Hello. Jessica. No, it's it's Cameron. Oh, Cameron. Mm. Mac. Cameron. No, Cameron Mac. Hello. From. Shut up! <laughs> no! Stop it! Shut up! Hello. Hello. Sorry, we're just having a little moment there. <laughs> From Edinburgh. How are? Is it lovely in Edinburgh Thanks. today? Yeah. All right. Um, how many times do you think the slappers going to slap themselves in the slappy slappy? Sixty. Sixty slappy slappy. Sixty slappy slappy. Okay, we got Mark with forty-five, or Cameron Mac from Edinburgh with sixty. Buckleheads, choose your team now! Go! go, 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 go. Oh, I'm 60. You chosen? Oh, it's 50 50. 30 against 30. Are you ready, you slapper? Go! He has got his own style. It's isn't a he? stroking slap, isn't it? He has got his own style. Stylized. There's a good steady pace he's got here, isn't it? it is. He's a he's a master of control. Yeah, he's got nine seconds left. He's up at fifty. He knows left. what he's doing. Looks like Cameron's gonna he's win. What? Got to win. Well, I think Cameron already has. We might as well stop now. Because one. Cameron! You've gone and won it, son! That's what you've gone and done. 62, 60 you said, and it was Go 62. Show him, show him Cameron what he wins. You won Cod's wallet. Thanks. Oh. Thanks. You won it. Prize, you. Are you? What? And a T-shirt. And a T-shirt. We'll even, we'll even send you some dust. <laughs> and mind. <laughs> keep the envelope. Nah. All right. All right, bye. We always like to make people happy here in the bungalow. And also, Megan, Thomas, and Joe are the winners of 20 bungalow points each. <laughs> But I was having you on because it's actually Mark Eaton from Stapleford and not Mark Stapleford from Eaton. Oh, you are a card, aren't you? Uh, but Mark Eaton, you know what you does he, do? You know what he's won, and you what you've won. What? Diddly Square. Diddly Square. Diddly Tell him louder. Diddly Square. Diddly. 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 What do you look like with those chips on your head? I don't yes. know. More cards. What? Tomorrow morning, live on the CBC well, channel. Can use now then, Don. Yeah. A lot of people have been telling me this week, right? I've yes. been meeting people in the street saying they love the bungalow, but they've been saying to me that they think you are really sweet. Oh. They think you're a really sweet oh. boy. They think you're oh. sweet. They do. Oh. And now to our final entry in this competition to represent the UK in the Eurovision Contest 2004. <coughs> Singing covered love. <coughs> it's the Diddies. <coughs>
That was truly dreadful. A guaranteed nil poids. I might even have to invent negative scoring for that. I still prefer bing a bong a wong a long a dingle dangle myself. People have been saying you really are a strawberry in cellophane. Yeah. <laughs> I ask you, does this look like a sweet? Hey, is this a sweet? <laughs> oh, yes. No. Where's Tom? <laughs> Tom, save us! Oi! Oi, Thomas, what's green and goes camping? I don't know. A Brussels scout! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom! 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 Out you come! Oh. Looks rather mischievous. What you been up to, mate? Whacking the turtle. Turtle's head? Mm. Whacking the turtle's head. <laughs> Do you want to win some more points? Well, let's play another game! Time to go to the cellar. What's Ooh. your opinion of the bungalow? A very bad union. They don't, they don't, they're, they're slaves, really, aren't they? I mean, I don't think they're treated the way they should be. But, um, creepy. Very creepy. They belong in the circus. They shouldn't be making chocolate bars. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Watch out for the watch oh. out for the uh, watch out for the step. Yes, it's time to play the one, the only Saturday morning naked up in the bungalow. Do not laugh, or you will lose. Do not laugh, you use. What we want you to do is split yourselves up into two teams of three. Get right. in the huddle and decide who is going to be playing for your team. You've got, got ten, ten seconds. Go. Okay, me chosen. We've gone for the person that's going to play sit on that. Joe. We'll sit on that chair there. It's TJ. Okay, and on our team over here, we've got Joe, and the others can just watch. Now, don't forget, there are three golden rules that you guys must stick to at all times. Yes. The first golden rule is you must have your hands behind your backs for the whole time of the game. All right. right. The second golden rule is you must keep eye contact at all time. You're allowed a little smirk now and again. We've got a yellow card, all right? So we'll give you a warning, but you must not look away at any time during the game. And the third and final golden rule is... Do not laugh or you will lose! Go, 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 go. Hey, they're good, these two. They really are. I reckon we're in for a bit of a match here. A sound effect. A swanny up. A swanny out. Oh, hey, telephone. Maybe Ellie. it's a prank caller. Ellie, will you phone? Hello, who's there? Dick, Dick speaking from Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. What's your name? Katie. Katie. Hi, Katie. Make them laugh. You could win. Right, um, there was a boy and he, and he asked his teacher if he could, could go to the toilet. And his teacher said, say the alphabet first. So he said, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, N, M, N, O. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And his teacher said, where's the feet? And the voice said, it's dripping down my child's leg right now. Right, OK. What? That was close. <laughs> was he, close. He, they both liked the joke, but it didn't make a laugh. We'll send you a teacher. We'll send you a teacher. Like. As you do, a monkey with jelly. What about this? Roller skating. Roller skating monkey with jelly. They're over there, mate. Close. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Joe, Joe, Go. Joe. Joe, stop, stop, stop. Top a second. Joe, yellow carded, son. That's, That's your that last... is a warning. It's a warning. It's your last warning. Don't let yourself down or your team. Red card next. It'll be end of the game. Oh, hang Thank on, you, mate. monkey. Phone. Hey, gorilla. Thank you, monkey. Off Whatever you go. You are. Come find some bananas. Hello. Dick and Dom of the Bungalow. Who's this? Neil. 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 Okay. You ready to make them laugh? Yeah. Joe is teetering. TJ is not. Go. Why did the elephant go into the post office? I don't know. Why did why the elephant did the go, elephant to the go to the post office? To get a stamp. Get a stamp. Hey. Explain that one. Get a stamp. Oh, cause, probably because of big feet. Thank you very much, Joe. We'll send you a T-shirt. Bye. 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 Oh, hello. Oh. Man with a frying pan. Morning. My name's Percival Ray.
Reds. Oh, 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 don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. Joe, Joe. Oh, oh Joe, Joe. Wait, no, on, he's all right, no, wait. No, he's not laughed. He's not laughed. Not Thank laughed. you. Off you go. Thank you very much, you. Reginald Percival. Man with a frying pan. Archibald. <laughs> Sound effect. Oh, dear. That was, that was a frog burping. As you do. It's a man doing the can can. And he's got a moustache. Joe, Joe, careful. So watch out for his bloopers. Go <laughs> oh. 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 They're both teetering. They both teacher. like it. Thank you, right, thank, you, man. thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right, right then, then, stop. Joe. It's time now for the golden envelope. TJ, do you know what the golden envelope is? The golden envelope is the, the killer gag. This, if you don't laugh at this, you could win. Oh, in here, I have the details of what the killer gag is this week. Please welcome Thomas's dad, Thomas, dressed as a pig eating cream cakes. <laughs> yeah, that was lovely. The bungalow is fan dabby dozy, but I'd lose those two Egypts who present it. Should we have a look at some bungalow head scores? Why not? That's I think nice. that might be a good idea. An appropriate time to look at some bungalow. There you are. Scores. Let's have a look at the scores. All right, the then. bungalow heads have got the moment. They've been earning them all morning. They've got 130. Now, no. Joe, come on. What's going on, mate? You got two. I think, I think, I think the lights have burst. Well, they are now. You got, uh, I think you got 200 there, Joe. Yeah, Megan's got 200. TJ's got 230. Emma's got 80. How can she have 80 when she just won 200? Hang on. Baby! Flipping, flipping it's bust. bust. It's absolutely bust. Don't worry, we know what it is in our heads. Yes. We'll, we'll correct we them and make sure they're all OK. Don't right? you worry, it will be fine, by your head. It, yes. it will be absolutely fine. Oh, hello. Hold your on your shoelaces hello undone, again. woman. So, Who could oh, be there? We've got no game. Oh, hello, Dick and Dominic Bungalow. Dick speaking. Dick, like, Dick, dance like an ostrich. Dance like an ostrich. Yes, boss. Now, we've got a great email over here, and uh, the email here is from Holly, who's seven years old. It says, Dear Dick and Dom, on Monday, our school was closed, so me and my mum went to uh, the pictures. We played bogeys, and my mum thinks I scored a 10.2. Well, very good. Thank you very much, Holly. You get a nining Fimo, and uh, also you get a little backpack. There you go. We've got two left. Bungalow at bbc.co.uk. Should we watch Cutty? All right, there. Uh, uh, Keep going. Uh, what's, he, what's he doing? What's he doing? He's being an ostrich. Well, he's now a dead ostrich. Wake up! Oh. All right, never mind. Hey, uh, watch my chops. Anyone want for a cartoon? Yeah, watch my chops. All right. We will be back in ten minutes on the bungalow. Ten minutes. We'll be back with loads more. When you speak to mutton chop. Love all bones. So it was you who stole the bones. Great, flipping great. Right, I'm off to the basement. Well, young rubbish, Gareth Gates, fool, Darius, lump old haggis, Sam and Mark, I'm bigger than all he's put together. Literally. That's right, yes! No, never again! No, yes! Oh, yes! No, my God! But, Bandingo, you are not in love with that flamingo! And you can't chat her up by doing the lingo! Sausages. Morning! I'm Inspector Mutton Chops. Each week, we're trying to find out if this country is going insane! Milk! <coughs> Reports this week, constables, seems to suggest the insanity is spreading! Let's have a look at the evidence! 
My quest to find Britain's maddest town continues, and today I'm here in the <gasps> tropical climate of Manchester to find out whether people are man enough to do this. Egg fried rice! Egg fried rice! Egg fried rice! Yes! Egg fried rice! Are you mad? No. Would you put this on your head, do the hula, and shout out egg fried rice? No. Why? Don't You'll be on Dick and Dominic Bungalow. Okay. You look mad. Sample. Who's she? Sure. Who's that? I don't know. Who is she? You don't know? You don't know who she is? No. All right, who are you? His mother. His mother, and he doesn't even know who you are. Are you mad? <laughs> Would you wear this? Do the hula and shout out egg fried rice? No, I'm afraid not. You go on. No. Go on. No, it's all right. You're not mad? No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> are you mad? Uh, no more than usual, I should. No, no. All right, then. We'll find out how mad they Would you uh, put this on, do the hula hoop, look, and shout out egg fried rice? An appointment. Oh, you an appointment? Oh, I'm busy. Busy. Everyone's still busy. Everyone's very busy. Are you jumping up and down thing? <laughs> are, you, are you mad? Yeah, I am. Would you put this on your head? I will do. Hula yeah. hoop and shout out egg fried rice. Egg fried rice. Yeah. I don't go know go if it can hoop. Go for it. Go on. It doesn't matter. Give it a go. Go on. Shout egg fried rice. Go on. Again. Try it again. Try it again. One more time. Go on. Egg fried Egg, 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 Go on, 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 are you mad? No, I didn't say that. That's what you said to me. You know, I said you said to me, you're mad. <laughs> no, I said to you, are you mad? And you said, I'm mad. So I said back to you, I'm mad. No. But actually, what I said was, are you mad? No, no, I'm all right. No? Would you put this on? Put this on and do the hula and shout out egg fried rice? No, 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 I'm no, 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 no. Thank you, I'm mad. Uh, are you mad? Am I mad? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to be a hula hooping Viking? Yeah, man. Yes, yes! What am I going to do? Alright, you're going to put that on your head, yeah, yeah. do the hula, yeah. and shout out egg fried rice. You do it, wicked! Yeah. Alright then! Oh, oh, you're alright, okay, you do that. Okay. Get that over your head. Okay, my man. Make sure none of your mates are watching. Nah, no, that's cool, they're always watching, don't worry about it a lot. Hey, nice one, and shout out egg fried rice. Egg fried rice! Yes! <laughs> do it again, one more thank you, get some worthy! Egg fried rice! Yes! Fantastic, thank, oh, you. Man, thank, you. thank you very much. Alright. Oh, it's been a long day, there you go. Oh, <laughs> cheers, boys. Thank you very much. See you later. Egg fried rice! Yeah, you can do it! Yeah, baby! Yeah, fantastic! fantastic. Thank, thank you very much. 100% certified Manchester Mad. Mad, <laughs> mad, mad for it. Tom, it's Dom here from Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. Who's your mate you're just speaking to? <laughs> Tim. Uh, is Tim mad enough to put on a Viking hat, do the hula and shout out egg fried rice? He is. <laughs> Bye. Go on then. He said you're mad enough to do it. Shout out egg fried rice and do the hula. Egg fried rice! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello, Mutton Chops. How are you, darling? Well, yes, my job's done for today. Uh, five out of ten people here in Manchester were mad enough to be hula hooping Vikings while shouting out egg fried rice. Yes, yes. Is that okay for you? All right, see you later. Love you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been putting moo juice in my special beaker? Sausages. Milk. Now then, uh, constables. Some people might not realise the seriousness... Milk. Seriousness of this problem. But there was a case back in 1943 when this country was plagued by hula-hooping Vikings, which put a lot of pressure on us at the time. Constables and citizens, 
If you should see behaviour like this in a town near you, like Manchester, here are three steps to apprehend the victim. Number one, tell my way with a cake on a stick. Get away. Number two, radio for Tweety Pie. Get out. Tweety Pie, go, go, go. Number three, confiscate the Viking hat and the hula hoop. And that's all. So, constables, any questions? Yes, boss. Emma. Are you going to Strawberry Fair? What? Are you going to Strawberry Fair? Am I going to Strawberry Fair? You mean Scarborough Fair? What's it say? She said strawberries. Am I going to Strawberry Fair? Answer the question, Strawberry Fair. My hands are so cold, I can't even turn the page. Come on, Muggler Heads, go on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Milk! Milk, Mandingo! You know I don't drink milk! Could you describe Dom for me? Kate's dancing, lifting, uh, Russian. Go on, everyone, take your seats, take your seats for Watch My Chops. You're going to watch the rest of that. And also... He's in Muck Muck Fox! Yeah, what he's trying to say is, uh, in a bit, in a short while, we have got bogeys, international bogeys. It's worth staying tuned for. And also, we've got Creamy Muck Muck, football Creamy Muck Muck. Are you going to stay around for that? Yeah! Of course you have. And loads more games, loads more, just loads more. Loads more, loads, loads more. Stay with us. Dogs just love. Bungalow, Saturday morning. Bungalow heads. We'll, we'll explain that in a moment. Uh, would you like to see what's happening for the rest of the bungalow? Yeah. Your delectation and delight. Well, there's all of this until 11 o'clock. What? They're all dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Get what? on with it. It'll be explained shortly. Yes, because the bungalow boffin is going to be here to explain all in a bit. A brand new game for us to play. Yes, yeah, so also we've got Dom's Tricky Training, which has got a bit of a Dutch theme today. Nice. Uh, not forgetting Looney Tunes. If we have a spare five minutes, we'll chuck one of them in for you. Do somebody say them. Uh, also, we have got international bogeys. What country will we be playing bogeys in today? Here's a clue. Mokosh. And <laughs> Mug Mug Focus is back too. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thank you for your emails this morning. Bungle at bbc.go.uk. Keep emailing. Um, Alexander Lovelock Wren, who's seven, says hi, Dick and Dom. I have proof that everybody in the world watches Dick and Dom in a bungalow. Because last Sunday I was out with my friends and we saw my English teacher doing the pants dance in her living room all on her own. Oh, hey. Now, that, results. That is. Now, that's bribery for you. Go on yes. then. Uh, well, I'm finding an email and a website. We've got one more left. Bungalow at bbc.co.uk. Email. Only one, it. it might have your name on it. The bungalow heads have been earning bungalow points all morning, haven't you, bungalow heads? Yeah. Here's, here's their scores. Faye has got 330. OK, if you look at Joshua's score, you'll see he has got 400. He's uh, pretty high at the top there. That's Joseph. Uh, not hey. Joshua. Uh, Megan has got 400. Today, he is Joseph, all right? Joshua. Joe. <laughs> he, he's just Joe. Uh, <laughs> Thomas, uh, TJ, well done. TJ, Emma and uh, Thomas, well done. There you go, there are the scores. <laughs> You're getting all confused, aren't you? Thank you very much. Uh, there are the scores explained to you by Dominic Wood. <laughs> I think there's someone at the door. Oh, yeah. there probably is. Uh, why don't you uh, see who it is? And... No. Oh. What, is it Francis? Come on in. Who is this? He's got big ears. Hang on. Um, what's your name? Daniel. Why are you here? Because I'm a bungalow boffin. What's, what's your name, name of the game, the game called? <laughs> Land of the Trolls. And... Ah! Been at home inventing a brand new game for the show And now we're going to test it live on the bungalow Will it be a triumph and beautifully thought through Or will it be a shambles, a pile of poopy woo? Will it be a shambles, a pile of poopy Land of the Trolls And Daniel, who's written in <laughs> with his game, will now explain it well, the bungalow has the dragons, as you can see. Oh, oh yes, yes. And they've right. taken Dick and Dom's mum and locked them in the toilet. They've done what? They've locked our mothers they've in the toilet. Our mummies in the toilet. Look, there's a big padlock. Oh. Mummies! Oh. Mummies! Go on, Daniel, what else? Locked. Um, the only way to release them is for you to complete three challenges. Right. Each challenge successfully completed, you will be rewarded with a clue. A clue? To the whereabouts of the key to the padlock. Right. Oh. Brilliant. 
During the challenges, Bungler heads in pairs to squirt and dick you with your with wall toss shooters and tickling you with feather dusters. Charming. And the challenges you must do oh, are right. pick two apples out of each bucket of custard. Right, should we start? Over there. Let's what? go, let's start. Well, start? Uh, start off with challenge one. This okay, is challenge so let, let, today is challenge one. Without using your hands and fire cold. Right, that's the other one. Without what? Sorry, Daniel. Don't worry, that's the next one. Without, all oh, right, okay. So, so we've got blindfolds, blindfold first, and, and now got... here, apples in custard. Right, with our teeth. Okay, let's do it. Go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, it... it's Megan. Yeah. Well, I got two. Yeah. What you get for that, Daniel? Anything? The clue is. Oh, it's we get getting, a clue. It's getting hot in here. Right, remember that clue, Dom. It's getting hot in here. Oh, right. Then. Challenge two. You must now eat. What? Challenge two, Daniel. You must now eat three mini jam donuts oh, in, yeah. in one without licking your lips. In one minute without licking our lips, right? Challenge two, start now. Oh. 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 What is it? Oh. It's torture! Get off! to find three dragon eggs. Are you trying to get us back for something, Daniel? No. <laughs> right, right shoes got, off. We've got to dive in here and find what? Three dragon eggs. Three dragon eggs. OK, how long have we got to do it? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, 30 seconds. Go! Ah! Challenges. We got one right. We challenged. We got one challenge correct. We did it. So we get one clue. What's the clue? What was it it's again? It's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. The fire. The fire. No, I think it's in the oven. No, it's not the fire. The oven. Yeah. Yeah. You've done it. Yes. We've got the key. Get open the door, quick. You've only got a few seconds left. Oh, Mum, oh, I'm so worried mommy. about you. Oh, Are you Daniel. OK? Yeah. Daniel, yes. was that what you had in mind? Yes. When Is you threw exactly it? what you envisaged? No, oh. not me getting covered in rice pudding. Oh, though. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, well, you're tough. That's, you're just part, that's, that's just part of the course, mate. Yeah. Right, then. OK, if you've got a game <laughs> you want to play on the bungalow, <laughs> Right in with your name, what the game's called, how you play, draw us a picture. It's cool. Uh, this is the address. It's Bungalow Boffin, Dick and Dom, Dab Bungalow, PO Box 38894, W12 6XA. You can also find that address on our website. You might win one of them, because Daniel, you've won that, mate. Look, you don't get any speakers, you don't get any yeah, power cables or you anything. You just get that. You just get that. Put and Bungalow Eds, the main thing is, did you enjoy it? <laughs> yeah. Is that a yes or just a scream? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Thanks, Daniel, the bungalow boffin. Thank you very much. Oh, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Get that back now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> I've been to the doctor, Vetty Doctor. What happened? Well, since you ask, I've got Veruca's piles of weepy eye, athlete's paw, but I'll get by. Tennis elbow, rotting teeth, and me gammy leg is giving me grief. Cauliflower ears and tummy egg. Call a vet for goodness sake. Please, worms and feline flu. Wind and constipation too. Sticky bladder, irritable owl, toothache and neuralgic towel. And a quite severe irritant maybe intermittent burning pain. But you know me, I don't like to complain. Now, pussycat. Well, you off to the vet then? And where do they put thermometers? Oh dear me. Off you go! <laughs> <laughs> oh. To the vet, it's painful, isn't it? Naughty old cat! I'm covered in muck muck, mate. Oh, I am, I don't know. Oh, oh woe is me. Locked in this dark, dank tower. For 18 long years. With nothing to do but twinkle me thumbs. If only there were a handsome prince to save me. Flip <laughs> flap, Tricky training with TJ over here. Hello, TJ. Hello. All right, now I'm going to show you a trick that will uh, make you a magician of the future. You'll then become a member of the magic circle. You can even become president if you learn this trick well enough. Do you fancy that? Yeah. Yeah. Good. All right then. Here's here's the trick. All right. I've got here in this envelope a picture, well, it's a, a sketch really, of some sunflowers, which were drawn by Van Gogh. Now Van Gogh was actually from Holland. He was a Dutch painter, and this is one of his most famous pictures. Now watch this. What I'm going to do is get my paintbrush and get some colours from all these tulips. See, tulips are from uh, Holland as well. See, and then paint the picture like this. See, painting the picture. And now what happens, all you have to do is say the uh, magic word, which is Van Gogh. Say Van Gogh. Very good. And now when I pull out the picture, something amazing has happened. Look, watch, 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 watch. The picture paints itself by magic. Do you like that? Good trick. All right then, now I'm going to show you how this is done. Now this trick, by the way, I got when I was your age. How old are you? Nine. Nine yeah, no. Okay, now I got this from a cereal packet when I was your age. And then I went on, and now I look. Okay, so here are the... Yeah, I've got a windmill on my head. You too could have one of these on your head if you learn this trick. Um, so what you need for this trick, you need an envelope, which you cut, you cut a hole in the front of it. Then you need a secret bit of paper which goes inside. Now, let me show you what I've done with the painting. The painting's made up of two parts, all right? It's actually made up of a picture at the bottom, and then a piece of clear cellophane, okay, which has got the sketch of the same picture behind it, right? Now, what happens inside the envelope, right, is that when you put it into the envelope, you put the piece of paper in between the painting and the sketch, right? So this is what happens when you haven't got the envelope around it. Have a look. When you pull it up, so first of all, you can just see the sketch. When you pull it up, the picture behind it becomes visible. It even looks good there, yeah? Okay, but all I'm doing is just removing a piece of paper. So when you do it inside the envelope, it looks really good. It looks like you've magically coloured Van Gogh's sunflowers. A good trick. Now, if you get this right, you're gonna... Yes, darling! Wait. There's a mouse! Where? Right there, on the stair! Where on the stair? Right there! A little mouse with clogs on! I saw a mouse where? There on the stair. Where on the stair? Right there. A little mouse with clogs on. Well, I declare, going flip, flip, a deep flop on the stair. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, yeah. We've got a nasty cat this next door. We'll set him on you if you don't get lost. <laughs> Bye. Vermin, filthy little rodents. All right, then, uh, as I was, all right, you're gonna, here in the loot at the moment. If you do this trick correct, you're going to get 200 bungalow points. Right? If you get it wrong and one of your mates guess how the trick's done, you'll go to fourth place and you'll have to be a tap dancing gnome for the rest of the show. <gasps> With a big cat right behind you. Yes, darling! Mate, mate! Mokos! Eh? Mokos! Crotte de nez. Thanks. <laughs> Crotte de nez. Quite literally translates into snotty nose, or as we like to call it, bogies. Yes, it's Euro bogies in Paris, France, at the La Cité de Science et l'Industrie, the Museum of Science and Industry. Rules of the game are very, very simple. All we have to do is take it in turns to say the word crocht de nerf, take it in turns and gradually getting louder and louder and louder until one of us bottles out or until one of us isn't as loud as the other. This is the crocht de nerf on the tear to find out who's shouting crocht de nerf. The loudest, so without further ado, let's go and shout crocht de nerf. <laughs> La France, part two. Crotte de neige. And Wood gets us off to a 0.4. Here in this second leg of the French bogies. McCourt to respond. Crotte de neige. And he does with a 1.0. Uh. And nicely done. Allowing themselves a small grunt. Orange. And practicing their French. There's Wood with 1.5. Been suffering with his pronunciation recently, Wood. But still, it's in. It's crot. He's a crock again. <laughs> Guidance from McCall. Shaven Minky. Crock de nerf. It's not your go, you crock de nerf. It's my go. Wood practicing to a shaven Minky. That's quite amazing. Now. Crot de nerf. Two point one <laughs> for les poissons and those two young ladies. They're off. There they're going. <laughs> well, they it. Off to tell their friends about this exciting new sport. Crot de nerf. And there's an example of it. Three point five from Wood. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So 3.5 to beat. The court. Padding like a tiger. Crot de nerf! And proudly sends us a 4.6 right up the Marseillaise. And they love it. So it's 4.6 to beat if he's to stay in this game. Crot de nerf! Wood. Just does it with a 5.2. Or a 5.2, as you might say. There's a small headache. The athletes are, of course, allowed to have headaches during the game. But no respite. Crot de nerf! McCourt with a 6.2. <laughs> and a hasty retreat. Stars in here. Like a clock. Yeah. Or. La pendule. Crocht de nerf! Now, Wood means business. That's a 7.3. <laughs> He's reassured by that. Crocht de nerf! But is there any stopping McCourt? 8.1. The crowd going wild. In fevered. Appreciation. Wood. Cross the nerve! He's given it all he's got and stunned the crowd into silence with his 9.4. McCourt 
one can feel. Crunch! Ben there! Coming from his lungs, it's a perfect ten. It's a beast. There! What? Stutters and tries, but hasn't quite got enough. Only a nine point eight. McCourt wins leg two. Let's see the winning crop today one more time. So it's one apiece in France. Next stop, Espana. Not Mocos. Not Mocos. Crottenay, and it's one all. Mocos next week in Spain. Spain. Now then, now then, they are screaming girlies outside the bungalow this morning. Do you know why? why? We have a special guest star during Muck Muck Focus in a bit. Are we allowed to tell them who? Looks a bit like Posh Spice. Right then, you lot, having a good morning. Glad to see it. Now that you're here to earn bungalow points, bungalow points mean prizes. Tomorrow we're live on the CBBC channel. Oh, are can, we? Where you can collect your prizes and you can collect this prize of your third, mm. which is a porridge computer. Wow. House with it, look. You can have that in your living room. Yes, Megan? You fun. want it? Yes, well, you could have. Well, you could have it. You could also have a second prize, which is it's it's, it's a computer console with a game. Oh, oh no. hey, they like look at that. But Megan doesn't like it. Like but I reckon you all you're all gonna be putting your hands in the air for this one because this is the star prize. Woo! Go! Oh. Oh. Chopper, bike, bike, wow, 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 let's and, check and, the and scores. CD Mortman, let's have a look at the yeah, scores. Come on, go on, let's go to the scores Faye. and have a look. Faye, 330. Yes, uh, Joe's got 500. Megan's got 500. TJ's got, oh, yeah, look at that, you're in the lead at the moment, Emma's 530. Got three and Emma's got 300. Thomas has got 300. Ladder. Thomas, come over, come, here, over here. come over here, mate. Come over here. Come over here. Now, is that time of the, uh, the morning? It's a bit of a problem, because, I mean, what's your score? It's 300, isn't it? What does that mean? It's, it's a pretty good last score. But it means you're in last place, doesn't it? Yeah. Any other week, that means you could be in the lead, but not this week. Thomas, what are these? Pants. What am I going to do with them? Put them on. And what are you going to do? Do the pants. Go. Correct. I got my head in my pants. Yeah. Yeah. Put the pants down. I'm going to a groovy disco trance. Come on. Even cleaner just as we car scouts. What do you get for dancing in them? <laughs> no, you don't you get, get points. You get nothing. What do you get? Diddly. 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 Squid. Diddly. Squid. Diddly. Squid. Diddly. 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 Put your pants on your heads while they're doing their pants down here in the bungalow. And this person has yours pants dancingly, uh, Sophie and Holly Collinson. My sister and I watch the show every weekend and we thought we would send you a picture of my mum, who's 36, sorry mum, doing the pants dance. There she is. My name is Sophie, my sister is Holly, I'm 10 and Holly is 8. We hope you like our picture. It's great. Is it, it is a cheeky one. Look at this. Hello, Dick and a photo of Daniel Woon, age 5, looking extremely excited to be participating in the pants dance. Sent in from his friends, Peter. And Andrea. Andrea, 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 Andrea. Andrea. Want to send in a picture of yourself or someone you know doing the pants dance? Humiliate them at the pants dance. Dick and Dom to Bungalow. PO Box 38894, London W12. Six. Oh, that's it. And look, win those. Look, the bungalow heads are displaying what you can get. Largest pants in the world. Look, it's posh and it's new. Have a look at our website. You can play the pants dance on there and get, get the address on there as well. www.bibby.com. Cartoon, 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 cartoon. Now, we, I love cartoons left. at this point. Uh, we watch that. We watch that. We watch. Oh, we haven't watched that. We, wa we watched all of. We watched all of them. We haven't watched that. Uh, but we haven't watched this. So all we have to do is shove it in here. Looney Tunes! Roll up, Dom's tricky training has been done. Gather round your skeptics, the magic moment's come. Now is the time to suspend your disbelief. Will it be the wilderness or will it be relief? Ending. What are you looking at? Pac-Man. Over here in Holland, we're not in the bungalow back room, we're in Holland. TJ over here has been learning a Dutch magic trick. 
Okay? He's top of the leaderboard at the moment. If he gets the trick right and he impresses all of you guys with his magical capabilities, then he might even go on to become a member of the Magic Circle. But until oh. then, he oh. will get 200 bungalow points. <laughs> if any of you guess how his magic trick is done, you'll get 20 bungalow points each. He'll go from first place to fourth place and he'll end up having to be a tap dancing there with a giant cat behind him. <laughs> Did you follow all of that? Yeah. yeah. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, TJ, the Dutch magician. Hey. I've got a, a, um, show everyone a picture. Show everyone at home as well. You've got to show everyone at home. Got Make sure everyone... off there. Yeah. Picture. And then... Shall I move this? I guess... I guess you live. Painting nose. Mm. Oh, oh, hey! Bit of riddle! Oh! oh. Yes. It's just a black and white picture bungalow heads. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. A bit, a bit more paint. OK. Let everyone see it. Turn it around so everyone can see. That's right. Well done. Maybe move that, move that, move, move that. that. Hang on, move that out of the way. Ready? And then... Pull up, pull it. Look, look, oh! Oh, oh! No! Got some black and white. It's colour. <gasps> Brilliant! He's coloured the picture he by magic. He is the new Monet Rang Rang off Rembrandt. How did he do it? Anybody? Go okay, on. first of all, Joe. Joe. Um, the, this, this little screen thing makes it look black and white, but when he pulls it out, it's just colour. Yeah, but how? We need to know how. Yeah, but how? That's yeah, what happened. Yeah, You've explained the trick, but you don't have to explain how to do it. How? Well, there's like a piece of cardboard and it's the, in two pieces. Oh. And one's oh. like coloured behind yeah. and one's black and white. Ah. Well, do you know what? Um, you took the words right out of my mouth. Is she right. right or wrong? Yes, yeah. right. She's. She, she is absolutely bang on. Yeah, right, Emma. Look, look, and, look, and I shall now prove. Look, there you go. Oh, yeah, you got it right. Now, TJ, that means, what does it mean? That um, it's, not, it's not good, is it, really? Right, it's not great news. You go to fourth place, and you also have to go uh, for the whole afternoon tap dancing as a gnome with a giant cat behind you. But first... We've got to get into training. Come on, this way, it's footy time. Yes, welcome again uh, to Muck Muck Focus. A formidable match here today. The atmosphere is electric like a toaster, an eel or a television set. Alan. Well, when you talk about teams like Nottingham Norris, you talk about the great European muck winning side of 79-80. But when you look at Poo Alexandra, the stats this season speak for themselves. Played 20, won 19, drawn one. One cancelled owing to a small Norris, says it all. Fair play. Let's have a look at the team sheets. I think we've got uh, Nottingham Norris up first here. Uh, there they are in uh, number one position, Harry Fairy. Uh, two Faye, three Megan, four Joseph, five Dominic the captain, and uh, that's the team. And uh, they did have a dirty mess last week at Ellen Road. Uh, we've got Poo Alexandra uh, next up, and uh, in one position for Poo Alexandra is the old man with a nasty cough from Do Not Laugh or You Will Lose. Uh, in two is Emma, three TJ, four Thomas, and five Dick the captain. And except Line up. The old man's a bit dodgy, but he's here for the free biscuits. Well, I'll tell you what, big occasions call for big performances. The man to watch out there today is Big Dick McCourt. Had an absolutely fantastic season on a free transfer from Filthy Athletic. And I tell you, if you want someone who can deal with Norris at the back, he's solid. Well, yeah, I'm just here. He is solid. I'm hearing right now that the teams are actually in the tunnel, so we can have a look at them. And uh, I think they're ready for the match. There you can see the tension. There's the referee, right. Melvin Adoom. They're coming out onto the pitch now. And uh, the crowd roaring, really enjoying this team. There's the hairy fairy. It's a great occasion. It is a very good occasion. Of course, we'll start everything today uh, with the pie-off. Uh, two men, one pie. And uh, the winner of the pie-off, of course, gets to kick off. You can see so already McCourt there fired up for it. He is fired up for it. He's got his, got his pie there. There's Wood with his pie. He's twiddling it with his finger in a strange way, having a little taste of it. And uh, it's all on the referee's whistle now. <whistles> there he goes. Oh, and that's a win. It's a clear win. And they're off. Yeah, there they are. They're actually off. And the game is underway. That was extraordinary. Went straight from the pie off into the game. Well, you There's... Can see straight away there. McCourt, as I said, holding firm at the back. Yeah, that's well. He's always been that sort of a player. It's the um, fucking technique. Absolutely fantastic. There is a, it's a bit of a custard calamity. Are they splashing hard and heavy too early? That's what we're going to ask. There's a blow of the whistle. Uh, oh, it looks like. Oh, there's a substitution. Now let's. Who's who's substituting who's here? On? Who's going off? Looks like the old man's coming off. But who's coming on? Oh, fill my shoes with glue and call me Shirley. It's David Becker. Surely this will rock Nottingham Norris like an out-of-control rocking horse. Well, I'll tell you what, Morty, no one bends muck like this man. If he gets a free pie near the area, 
You bank on him in messing. Yeah, well, Beckham's been a wonder with the custard since, of course, his nickname is Golden Muck, and his wife, Victoria Muckham, is watching at a safe distance, you of course. You can see he's absolutely enjoying the moment there. He's straight into the game. Yeah, he really is a trooper. Oh, and that's, I think that's half-time. There we go. Well, an extraordinary first half, Alan. I think you'll agree. Well, uh, what's, uh, They're just having oranges for half-time now, obviously, keep them healthy, full of vitamin C. Well, what you've got to say, Morty, is the attacking's bad and the defending's poor. I think both teams should be asking themselves some pretty hard questions at half-time. They should, they should. We've got a replay here, actually. There's Harry Fairy. She's that. really got quite a good fling on her there. She has. And, uh, the problem is, she's getting the muck-muck into the box, but there's no finish. No there's, one's getting uh, their face you're in. Right. They're always searching for someone from midfield, and they're just not there. Oh. I, think, uh, I think we're ready for uh, the oh, second half and uh, there's the blow there we are we're into the second half now also Alan and you've got to say by way of excuse the playing surface out there today ain't that great I don't that's know whether true. you've noticed but there's a small piece of sausage on the pitch yeah and that's not going to be helping anyone no, that's gonna get in the way of this if this match somebody threw a loo roll on the pitch earlier well, that's just wood is absolutely oh. covered now, I think there's a foul here. Well, uh, that's a definite infringement. Yeah, that's a foul. That's, oh, well, the referee's a yellow what? card. Referees had no choice there. And uh, Wood doesn't like that. He's going to get a bucket of splot on his head. Well, there he goes. That's a complete that's dressing down for Wood. That is, he's embarrassed. I think they're going to play on. Maybe another bucket there for Wood. You've got, oh, you've got to accept that. You've got to accept it. Move on. Are we going to have a penalty now? I think we're going to have a penalty, or maybe we're not. No. Well, for me, that's contentious. I thought that was a penalty incident. I think they're not going to do a penalty. Are they going to? There's a penalty. There is the penalty. Excellent. Right. So, uh, how's he going to settle this one? Yeah! Oh, that, that, that's well, a penalty. That's it's not gone against the run of play. That has gone against the run of play. A shocking result. That that is a penalty to Wood. That's not full time. I don't oh. think it's a penalty to Wood. Okay, it's a penalty to Wood. Well, it's a contentious decision. Well, here he goes. And if this goes in, it could be the lifeline that Snottingham Norris are, are wanting. Yeah, no, I think that's absolutely it. You know, Wood's got an amazing foot on him, and when he gets the custard on the end of it, we're really, uh, we're really rocking. The hairy fairy's gone into goal there, slightly unorthodox. Uh, Beckham just looks completely confused. Well, we've just got to wait and see what technique Big Dick well, there takes we go. up here. Wood's going to go for it. There's Wood. He's going in there. In he goes. He's got his bucket. It's a clear. It's a. It's a. Oh, oh beautiful. Absolutely that was textbook. clinical finishing. Yeah, it was clinical. You can't do better than that. Wax, black, splot. Hello. Like that. And oh, what's happening now? The rep is that full time? I'm not sure what he's doing. No. Nope. Utterly confused. Well, apparently, apparently the game is carrying on. They're carrying on. Okay, excellent. It's abs I think really both teams need to ask themselves some hard questions. Look at the clock. There's 10 seconds left, actually, Alan. I've and got those sort of questions will be. Musically, how good is Peter Andre? Don't know. And how long does it take you to polish your brasses? Quite a long time. That's full time. I've just uh... so who did win today's match? Very exciting tension here. It's, it's, well, it's, it's court. It's court with Pooh Alexandra, and uh, he will be very, very pleased with that result. I know that he's really been practicing very, very hard this last week. So uh, let's have a look at the fixture for next week, Alan. All you can see is phantasmagorical. Phantasmagorical. Next week's fixture, of course, Meston North End and Body Spam Hotspur. Join us then for more Muck Muck Focus. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's my focus. I won again. I can't believe it. It's rubbish. It's a cheat. It's not a cheat. Hey. Nearly the end of the show on a bug line. All right, then, well, the points go to... Who's going to have the points? Well, right, it goes to all of the blues. All of the blues! Yeah. 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 Shout, out, shout out your name from Bug One. Thomas. Emma. TJ, Thomas and Emma. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! We win once again. And Thank you. you. I guess, oh, hold oh, oh, on. Fire and interruption. She's I, mate. She's I. Ah, sorry, it's fun. Hello, Dick and Dominic Bugler. Dick speaking, who's there? It's the almighty king! It's the almighty Who? Who? Who giving them or taking them away from? I am giving 80 points to Faye. Faye! Why? But why, almighty? Because she's the best of them she's... all. Because she's the best of them all? Yeah. Go on, Faye! Thank How you. many points, almighty? 80 points! 80 points! Hey, well done, you almighty kid, Tata! Yep. Nearly 11 o'clock, remember, 
to vote on the website for the Almighty Kid tomorrow. Go the, to the, the website. The website address is www.bbc.co.uk. Here it is. Or slash CBBC. Or slash Tiny. Get your glasses on. Dog. Maybe that. Uh, 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 the website after we finish the show, guys. Good. It's nearly the end of the show, Bugglehead. The stomach is the end of the end of the show. Is it Faye or Joe or Megan, TJ, Emma or Thomas? The loser picking on with a buggy load for Saturday morning show is Thomas! You're going to go off to the toilet and you're going to get a darn good gudgeon. Have you got anything to say about that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yes. TJ, you TJ, you lost Tricky toilet. Training today. They've yeah, worked out how you did the trick, so you've got to be banished for the rest of the afternoon, I'm afraid. Where's, so, he, go, where's he going? Uh, well, go that way. Well, no, where's he going, though, for the rest of the afternoon? Oh, he's going to be a, be a gnome and go tap dancing oh. in Lilliput. Nice. Off you go, yeah. TJ. Uh, David Beckham, how did, you, how, did you enjoy your experience in the bungalow? Yeah. Ah, yeah, peace, man, respect. Really right, the winner of Dickin' in the Bungalow, the queen of the bungalow, I think it's a queen. It is with 520... There's two people in the first play. Joe and Megan, get up on the leaderboard. Joe and Megan have both won. That's the king and the queen of the bungalow. You'll both so get... you'll get one of these each. A piece of two, a games console. A games console. We're going to take you away now because uh, you'll get it. Yeah. Come on, come on. We are back tomorrow, live on the CBC <laughs> channel at 9 o'clock. This is the sort of thing you can expect. Live, live. <laughs> Morning, that's tomorrow on the CBBC channel at nine o'clock. Live! Oh, yeah, yeah, next, you can see Fern with Top of the Box Saturday as well. Bungalow have you enjoyed your bungalow experience? Yeah! Lovely. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know that uh, TJ has been banished? Yeah. He lost his yeah. Let's have a look at him. He's going to be a garden moan for the rest of the afternoon. No, yeah. <laughs> And your other mate, Thomas, he lost today's show, so he's going to get guns. You want to see it? Yeah! After five, five, four, four three, three, two, one, gun I do. Anybody there? <laughs>